breaking news. Yeah, the suspected shooter is dead tonight. And Fox 59's Russ McQuaid has the latest update from police and also spoke with a neighbor who talks about how this entire situation got started. It was just a couple days before Christmas here in the 9400 block of Burwood Circle that a neighbor tells me an argument over that trash can resulted in the suspected gunman firing bullets into her house. This could have been Gladys. This yeah, could have been they, Gladys. They have a cowboy uh, uh, reporting on it too, man. Look at this cat. I, I, I can tell you this could have been Gladys. Gladys can, Gladys can get mad over stuff like that, like like respect, like having respect for the like. If you don't do the, like, you know what I'm saying? If you put your shit out on the wrong day, glad of. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell, oh, yeah, hell yeah. Like shooting into the house. Well, the shooting in the house is a problem, but, but, but you never know. I mean, let's Told see. Let's an see. argument over that trash can resulted in the suspected gunman firing bullets into her house. That's glad. It was dark glad last you. night when Lawrence SWAT team officers approached the ranch house at the end of the cul-de-sac with an arrest warrant. When officers arrived, uh, one of the uh, suspects, the male suspect, exited the rear of the residence and uh, engaged our officers in gunfire. The couple in the ranch house were wanted for firing 15 shots into a neighbor's house. We were just trying to be good neighbors and move their trash can so we didn't back into it and damage it. The man didn't show up for court on a relatively low-level felony, and the woman tampered with her court-ordered GPS monitor. While officers applied a tourniquet to the wounded policeman's leg out back of the house, the suspect and his girlfriend decided to make a run for it and drive for freedom. The suspects were shooting out of the front window of their house. Then they proceeded to get into their vehicle to flee, and they were still firing at the police. As they were trying to exit the residence, there were shots fired from the vehicle at our officers. Our officers returned fire, and the incident concluded from there. The gunman was dead, the girlfriend wounded in the leg. The officer rushed to the hospital by two IMPD officers. Today, the neighbors tallied up the damage from dozens of gunshots exchanged by five officers and a man who wouldn't surrender. He didn't have to die. They could have turned themselves in and they could have went to court. Even if you went to jail for a little bit, you'd still be alive. You know, of course, like in every circumstance like this, the suspect has a say in what happened also. Police are reviewing not only neighborhood surveillance video, but also... I'm convinced these are gliders, man. Yeah, no... gar guaranteed gliders get on the scoreboard tonight. Yeah, no, nobody's scared. There's no, like, talk about how, like, it shouldn't have happened and, you know, there was other options that the police could have used. They're not calling it disembodied gun crime. Yeah. I, I, I love the woman actually calling out the criminals. Yeah, like they didn't have exactly. to die, they could have done this. Instead exactly. of instead of saying, Oh, they didn't have to die, the police should have done this. Exactly. Yeah, That's how you know it was gliders. Yeah. And it's definitely a glider neighborhood because he was concerned about the trash can and brought yeah. it in for them. Exactly. They they do That's me right. like we're that. hearing from an Indian And it wasn't like um man, it's crazy around here, man. It's getting really bad around and it's just like this is like a one off. Well, tonight we're hearing from an Indianapolis woman who survived being shot at this Southside gas station. Then he like took two steps back and was like, I don't want to have to do this. And then he pulled the gun out and he pointed it at me. Tonight, Courtney Hall says this happened when a stranger tried to carjack her. She tells us she was shot by accident when another stranger tried to protect her from the would-be thief. Fox 59's Jesse Wells spoke what? to her after she got out of the hospital and shares the moment, she says, led up to this shooting. Here at this Marathon gas station on Thompson Road Sunday night, police were called to a homicide that started when a woman walked outside and saw a stranger pulling on her door handle, trying to force his way into her SUV. And I was like, could you please move away from the door? My kids are in here and I'm just trying to get home. That woman, Courtney Hall, who asked that we not show her face, claims because her four young kids were in the back seat, she refused to cooperate with the suspect who then assaulted her. I was fighting him and then he like took two steps back and was like, I don't want to have to do this. And then he pulled the gun out and he pointed it at me. Courtney says that's when she screamed for help. And this man, he um, was walking out the gas station and he was like, hey, what are you doing to her? Get off of her. Police claim that bystander then shot and killed 26-year-old Devin Dungan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, okay, okay. A glider. W by, <laughs> by the by, well, the bystander was a glider for sure. Why? Because you know, he didn't kill her too. The, the good Samaritan, yeah, the good Samaritan was was, was a glider. Kill her kid, is it is it going to end in a lawsuit? Is my question. Yo, gliders, yo, people, people are fucking fighting back. This is this is heartwarming, man. Can you tell? Walking can, out the okay, gas station, uh, and he was you, like, no uh, "Can you tell? Can you tell if it's a glider or not by the brand of gasoline? Like Marathon, maybe? You know? Nah, nah. We got mm-hmm. marathons are everywhere in the hood. But I think you could, if you knew what kind of whether they got 91, 93, or ninety five, you could tell. You could tell. You could eighty nine, ninety one, or ninety three. I mean, you could tell if it, if it was if it was a glider by that. But um. You can no, tell if they know. got a backwoods, if they got a backwoods yeah. sign in the fr- in the front window. <laughs> this man, he um was walking out the gas station and he was like, "Hey, what are you doing to her? Get off of her!" Police claim that bystander then shot and killed 26 year old Devin Dungan. The shooter stayed on scene and cooperated. Courtney believes Dungan arrived at the marathon in this black Buick, which had been reported stolen in a carjacking involving different victims at this business on Man Road. That happened just a half Look hour. the be- carnage. I mean, like, the fact that people, like, act like this is no, they carjack, and then they use the carjack car to carjack some. Yeah, I mean, like, what was, his, what was his end motive here? Like, what was, what was his big plan? Like, to carjack, to carjack, to carjack? Like, how do you make money off of that? You no, know, it's for fun. It's just for fun. Yeah, so, so the project is dead. Yes. Yeah, sure. yeah. It's predation, though. This is predation. This is like like how black says. This is they're predators. This is not really for any like. This is an expression of their dominance. This is nut swinging. This is a lion just fucking strangling the shit out of a fucking impala and not even eating it. You know what I'm saying? This is like fucking, you know what I'm saying? This is this is just predation, man. Yeah. It's like when dolphins rape. Exactly. And then, and then he woke up in hell. Black Buick, which had been reported stolen in a carjacking involving different victims at this business on Man Road. That happened just a half hour before the deadly shooting. Never stopping at a gas station at night again. I haven't stopped thinking about it. Despite the terrifying ordeal, one bullet tore through Courtney's driver's side door. Her wrist and arm remained bandaged after she was hit by two bullets. But she still praised the bystander who fired the shots for stepping in to help. Yeah, I was real thankful like, because I don't know. What would have happened, you know, if that man wasn't there, you know, to help me? Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. So what is he going to do? He's going to take her and her four kids. He's going to take the car with her four kids in it. What is he going to, like, drive off and then, like, let them out somewhere? Probably. And then he already had a car. So was he working with somebody? Maybe so. Or maybe but uh, but uh, if he would have had a go go band to join, that's true. <laughs> None of this would have happened. There's not enough go go in The man police. was questioned and released yeah. without being arrested. The Marion County Prosecutor's Office will now decide if any criminal charges will be filed. It could how, it could have been that bad of a neighborhood if she felt comfortable to get gas at night though. Right. It's I like, like stories like this. this. She didn't know any better till now. Sisters just um, were braver, man. Because they, 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 I, I, I used to get yeah. gas. I used to get gas at night all the time, and then I One started year. watching your show up years ago, and I stopped getting <laughs> gas at night. <laughs> Change your ways. Uh, I did some, yeah, I, I did some digging on that. I took dig some digging on that first story. Guy's name is Dalen Oates. Glider. Dalen kind of sounds sunny. A glider, yeah. So, oh, on the other story where they had a shootout with the cops and everybody, that one? That's that's a glider because it was over a garbage can. Yeah, I got enough of the story. But but it was, uh, they brought the garbage can in to those other people and then they shot them up for it. So it could have been. Their neighbors were doing something nice for them. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, that's, that's, that's crazy gliders.
No act of kindness goes unpunished in Gladderstein. Um, let's see.